three responses of a fearful animal are freezing, fleeing, and fighting. As you will see in the upcoming slides, animals have fearful body postures, facial expressions, and behaviors that they will use to tell us when they are scared or fearful. Should we not pay attention to their body language and behaviors, the animal will exhibit one of the three responses of a fearful animal. Here is an example of a dog exhibiting the freezing behavior. Good puppy. Good puppy. In this slide, you can view a chart that displays some basic characteristics a dog may exhibit if feeling anxiety or fear. Some of the behaviors a dog may exhibit are licking their lips, furrowed brow, cowering, panting, yawning, acting sleepy, hypervigilance, pacing, suddenly moving away, and not eating. Some additional behaviors a dog may exhibit if he or she is fearful are tucked tail, ears out to the side or back, salivating, urinating or defecating, and avoiding eye contact and looking out of the corner of the eye. Dogs also show you how they are feeling through their eyes. Please take a look at the pictures and see what the eyes can tell you. In this slide, you see a fearful or emotional dog averting direct eye contact and looking out of the corner of his eye. This dog is also exhibiting other fearful behaviors such as a tight mouth and holding his breath. This slide displays the body language and postures dogs exhibit to show us how they are feeling. Please take some time to view this chart. This second chart is showing the different facial expressions dogs use to show us how they are feeling. Please take some time to view the different expressions and what they mean. Humans often make some common mistakes when working with a fearful dog. Some things that humans do that they should not when working with a fearful or emotional dog are reach down for the animal, squat down right next to the animal to be on their level, stare at them, hand the animal a treat while looking them straight on, some things that humans can do to make a fearful animal more comfortable are squat down to the animal's level, but do it at a distance to give the animal their space, and stand sideways so you're not facing the animal straight on. It is just as important to recognize relaxation and happiness in dogs as it is fear. The next two slides go over the behaviors and postures of happy and relaxed dogs. The first slide gives some characteristics of a happy dog. The second slide gives some characteristics of a relaxed dog.